एवरीवन माय नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट कैलेंडर मॉडल ऑफ इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ फॉर यूजीसी नेट कैलेंडर मॉडल इज वेरी यूनिक बट व्हाई दिस मॉडल इज वेरी यूनिक बिकॉज अदर न्यो क्लासिकल मॉडल ट्रीट टेक्निकल प्रोग्रेस एज अ एक्सोजीनियस फैक्टर बट कैलेंडर गिव्स सो मच इंपॉर्टेंस टू टेक्निकल प्रोग्रेस as we know technical progress means discovery of new and improved method of production and calder link technical progress with capital accumulation according to calder technical progress depend on capital accumulation obviously as we accumulate more and more capital we will technically improve now we will see assumptions of this model this model is based on keynesian full employment assumption Income consists only wages and profit. That's why y is equal to W plus P. Y means income. W means the uh, income earned by labourers in form of wages. P means the uh, uh, income earned by capitalists in form of profit. And the total saving consists saving out of profit and saving out of wages. And prices are constant. and profit is function of investment and technical progress depend on rate of capital accumulation now we will see calder model under constant working population under constant working population calder talk about three types of uh, functions a uh, saving function investment function and technical progress function one by one we discuss about each first of all we are going to talk about a saving function in this equation st represent saving at t time period or we can say the st represent current saving pt represent profit at t time period alpha represent marginal propensity to save of profit earner or we can say the alpha represent saving out of profit so alpha pt mainly represent how much saving done by profit earner yt minus pt is equal to income which is earned by wage earner or we can say yt minus pt is equal to income which is earned by laborers as we know total income is equal to p plus w p means income earned by capitalists in form of profit w means income earned by laborers in form of wages when we bring uh, p in this side our equation will become like this that means when we minus profit from total income it will become equal to wages or we can say it will become equal to income which is earned by laborers in form of wages so here yt minus pt means income earned by laborers in form of wages and beta is marginal propensity to save of wage earner or oh, and beta yt minus pt this equation mainly represent how much saving is done by wage earners or we can say how much saving is done by laborers so our total saving include saving out of profit and saving out of wages so here you can see alpha value always less than 1 that means all profit will not save some part of profit will consume as you know alpha represent saving out of profit and beta value always less than alpha beta represent saving out of wages as we know laborers earn less as compared to to capitalistic that's why they are saving also less that's why beta value always less than alpha and beta can equal to 0 or greater than 0 if beta is equal to 0 that means laborers or we can say wage earner are saving nothing if beta value is more than 0 that means laborers or we can say wage earners are saving something now we'll see investment function in this equation we also use alpha and beta but meaning of alpha and beta are completely different as we discuss in earlier equation in this equation kt means stock of capital at t time period or we can say that kt means current capital stock yt minus 1 is previous year of output and alpha dash is coefficient of previous year of output pt minus 1 is previous year of profit kt minus 1 is previous year of capital pt minus 1 over kt minus 1 mainly represent rate of profit on previous year of capital means how much profit we earn from previous year of capital is equal to pt minus 1 over kt minus 1 
and we will multiply this previous year of output as we know yt minus 1 is equal to previous year of output and beta dash is nothing this is mainly coefficient of this whole part. So, according to this equation our current capital stock depend on previous year of output plus rate of profit on previous year of capital. Alpha dash and beta dash always be more than 0 not equal to 0. How can alpha dash and beta dash equal to 0? If alpha dash and beta dash are equal to 0 that means previous year of output 0, rate of profit on previous year of capital 0. If these both are 0 that means we will not accumulate more capital, we will not invest more, our economy will not grow. So, in order to increase the growth of our economy, these values should always more than 0, not equal to 0. Now, we will understand technical progress function with the help of this equation. In this equation, yt minus 1 minus yt over yt mainly represent growth rate of income. yt, yt are current income and yt minus 1 is previous year of income. When we minus current year, current year income from previous year of income and divide this with current income, it will become equal to growth rate of income. Means this equation represent this growth rate of income. And growth rate of income is equal to alpha double dash. Alpha double dash means technical progress coefficient. Means alpha double dash represent coefficient of technical progress. And beta double dash means capital per head. And IT means current year of investment. KT means current year of capital. And IT over KT mainly represent our net investment. Means how much we are investing through our current capital. And uh, according to this equation, growth rate of income mainly depend on our technical progress and how much we are investing uh, through our current capital means what is our net investment. And uh, uh, technical progress always be more than zero. It cannot be possible our technological progress become equal to zero. And uh, uh, beta double dash always be more than uh, zero but less than one. That means investment should be less than our capital. How you can invest more than your capital? So, in this model, we will study about three types of functions, saving, investment and technical progress. In very simple term, initially we will save. Some saving comes from profit and some saving comes from wages as we earlier discussed. Then we invest this saving and our investment means our current uh, capital stock depend on uh, previous year of output and uh, our rate of profit on previous year of capital. And third uh, function is technical progress because mainly our growth of national income depend on rate of investment and technical progress as we earlier discussed. So, with the help of uh, this uh, diagram, we will clearly understand this concept. In this diagram on x-axis, we have proportional, uh, proportional growth of capital and y-axis, we have proportional growth of income. And this OG line represent a steady growth rate and TT line represent technical progress. Initially, we increase capital equal to SC1 and uh, our output increase equal to RC1. Here you can see RC1 is more than SC1. That means uh, growth of output is more than growth of capital. This is possible because of technical progress. Again, we increase capital equal to SC1 and C2 and our output increase T. C2. Here you can see T C2 is more than S1 C2. That means the output is more than capital. This is possible because of technical progress. At this E point, you can see uh, capital and output become equal to each other. At E point, our output growth become maximum. Why? Because diminishing return start on capital and, and marginal productivity of capital start reducing. Now, we will see criticism of this model. This model do not explain determination of growth as explained by Harrod and Domer. Those who follow Harrod and Domer model will criticize Kelder. This model just explain path of growth rather than steady state. This model do not explain any reason of stability and instability. This model ignore investment depend on MEC and interested. As we know, investment mainly depend on margin efficiency of capital and interested. But this model ignore this concept. According to this model, income only consists of wages and profit. But people earn income through rent, people earn income through interest also. But this model ignore this. 
and uh, this model only consists of saving out of profit and saving out of wages but people save their rent income people save their interest income but this model ignore this concept so this is all about kelder model of economic growth i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care